Hey brothers and sisters, I just wanted to come on here real quick and make a video. Um, I saw something yesterday I'm pretty disturbed about. This gentleman that you see on the screen here is under the impression that he doesn't have any, ho any hope of salvation because he's not a black Hebrew Israelite. I kid you not. Um, I don't want to get into a problem here by playing his video and getting nailed with copyright, so I've just kind of got to kind of advance it. But he says, you know, basically, um, that I don't have any hope anymore in the world for my salvation. Uh, note here that closed caption often. Uh, you know, mispronounces the words or, or, or doesn't uh, interpret the words correctly. So again, he says, so basically, I don't think I uh, have any hope uh, in the world for my salvation. I mean, is that pathetically sick and sad? I'm just almost without words. <clears throat> and this was... Uh, you know, this black Hebrew Israelite false, you know, gospel that they're teaching. You've got people that clearly don't know the word buying into this. And um, these guys are the biggest Bible verse cherry pickers that I've ever seen in my entire life. Yet they'll make videos and they'll say that they're, you know, a New Testament church and they believe the word of the New Testament and... and all that, but uh, in, in actuality, you know, they cherry pick. There's certain things that they will believe and not believe. Like they still like, try and live under the law of Moses, under, uh, you know, what's clean meats and what's unclean meats. So, um, but just for this brother, um, hopefully he'll see this video. And this is something that the black Hebrew Israelites will not address. But um, this verse here says that, uh, For ye are all the children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. It doesn't say by blood. It doesn't say by race. It doesn't say by geographical location. Um, it says, For ye are all children of God. Of God by faith in Jesus Christ for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ here's the key there is neither Jew nor Greek neither bond nor free there is neither male nor female for ye are all one in Jesus Christ and if ye be Christ then ye are Abraham's seed and heir according to the promise. So, I mean, come on, people. Come on. Read your scriptures. Don't let these false teachers play mind games with people like that young man. I mean, it's, it's just, you know what? <laughs> I, I can't even express the amount of frustration that I'm feeling over this. Um, also, uh, if we go to Romans real quick here, there we go, Romans. Here again. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hello? I mean, okay. Enough said on that. Um, but, you know, I got a notification that uh, our old pal, Pastor Dow, came up with another video and um, quite an interesting title even though he doesn't know how to spell ant 
uh, I'm, I mean, and um, it says leaving the ministry. I'm going, oh my goodness, could it be? Could it really be true? Well, that's not what it's about. It's about, um, he's talking about people that leave his ministry and badmouth it. And uh, there are a lot of people that are leaving his ministry. And I'm not going to really get into the fine detail nitty gritties. <clears throat> but, you know, there are some really hideous, hideous, as bad as it gets claims uh, by people that have left his ministry. Let me just put it that way. Um, he claims to be, and I quote, a viable ministry because he, qu he claims to follow the book of Acts. But, but like I said, um, these guys cherry pick verses. They'll, they'll take that verse that I just quoted to you, or those verses I just quoted to you, and throw it right out the window. Um, he claims that his ilk are set apart and that uh, it's due in part to their lifestyle. Well, you know, let's talk about lifestyle. Let's talk about um, calling white people devils and calling them uh, white devils. Is this, is this supposed to uh, be supported by the book of Acts? I mean, does this reflect holiness, righteousness, and compliance with scripture? Oh, please. Um, he also claims that he regularly heals people, and people come from all over the world, uh, and he casts out devils. Um, and he, and of these healings, he talks about healing incurable diseases. I mean, this is sounding like Benny Hinn. <laughs> I mean, you know, and it's not being a, a single case of verifiable healing from Benny Hinn. Yet people just flock to these people and throw them money and give them everything they've got, and then they end up keeling over later. Um, I've heard stories, you know, people that move to his compound, his commune, and they give up their possessions, and, um, you know, when they go to leave and they, they smoke out the truth, he won't give them back. I mean, one guy's still trying to get his 50 cal machine gun, he says, back. So, I don't know. Pastor doesn't want to give the gun up. So, according to this man, and it's easy to find. I mean, you can get his testimony online, uh, just do a research, do some research on Straightway or Pastor Dow, and you can hear the whole man's testimony. It's kind of spooky stuff. Um, talks about how, you know, they invaded his marriage and, separated him and his wife and got him fighting with each other anyway i'll get into that in a little bit here um he claims that uh people leave the ministry uh and that um, they judge everybody else but they won't judge themselves and that they have some type of secret sin that they're bound to and uh, that they won't let it go and um, he says that um, again he repeats in this video again he says it twice that every one of them have secret sins so it's a blame game on steroids you know it's always the other guy never him never his teaching Never people have woken up to the lies and the deceit, okay? Um, then he says, um, that people that join his commune come and play church and that they're there for two or three or four or five years. And um, he says, but eventually, they're, they're, you know, their sin is, finds them out, and, and they leave. And um, it's just not uh, it has nothing to do with him. But uh, he's talking about how one he talks about how one spouse uh, will be in the program, his program, and the other spouse will be resistant, and. Uh, 
if you notice here on the screen, he's talking about how he goes in and he, how he tries to help their marriages. Well, the truth is, I've seen multiple reports, multiple videos. I've even got comments on my uh, YouTube videos of people that, uh, uh, you know, they've had family members and their marriage destroyed. Now, I mean, think about this for a minute. The, you know, what would it take for a couple to pack up their kids and move to a commune? I mean, does that sound like something that people that are having marriage problems would do? It seems to me that it's pretty obvious that the marriage problem started after they got there. So, just saying. Um, it also sounds to me like he's an intruder in the marriage. And, uh, you know, that's something that uh, anybody that has ever read the book Safe People by Dr. Henry Cloud and Dr. John Townsend, also Boundaries and Marriage, uh, the book Boundaries, Boundaries and Marriage, Boundaries with Children. And, uh, you know, they wrote all these books. And also a book they wrote uh, called Changes That Heal, Churches That Abuse. They've written all these books and, and, and you know, I think some of these people that leave his commune compound slash cult are going to be good candidates to buying these books. I really hope that they get some. It's called, uh, again, the authors are Dr. Henry Cloud and Dr. John Townsend. Um, he claims that he contends earnestly for the faith. He says they fight and they debate and they contend. But... Um, he says, because the enemy is like a wolf coming in in sheep's clothing. And, um, <laughs> you know, but the truth is, he bans people that start getting the upper hand biblically. Because I slam him with scripture, slam him with scripture, to the point he runs away. He'll, he'll take a pot shot at me and then run for the hills. And then ends up banning me. It took me a while to figure that out. Or, or a ghost ghost banning you know so my sh my stuff doesn't show up on his channel anymore so I, I'm having a hard time getting the word out that's the reason I've been taken to do the videos here because I will do my best I will not rest I will not stop until I can do everything humanly possible to expose as many people as I can to the truth about this individual okay um he, he's talking about a wolf in sheep's clothing. Now, this is a frigging mind blower, okay? Look at the bottom of this, of this in the comment section where it says here, published on January 20th, 2015, and it says, peace. He says, but here is some real truth. This man sounds like Pastor Dow. Listen, and if you click on this link, I kid you not, you click on this link and it's going to take you to none other I'll tell you what I'll just do it okay it's gonna take you to none other than Louis Farrakhan Louis Farrakhan and I've said before I have a hard time seeing the difference between this pastor Dow and his teaching and the Muslims are the slash Islam because the only difference that I see okay is you know they claim about Dow's group claims to believe in Jesus as Savior obviously Islam does not they follow the moon God Allah but isn't it interesting that in his own video again I'll go back here and you see it for yourself that he identifies himself with a moon god worshiping ra radical racist Muslim I mean is that mind-blowing and I called it a week or two ago it's documented in my videos um, so and then he did another video um, that says that uh, someone wrote him a big long lengthy email that says he disagrees with him and um, you know he, he's then he basically just uh, once again blames the person doesn't show the email doesn't let you 
make your own mind up. He just comes out with these general statements. Is, and that's the reason, you know, the reason that you disagree is because you don't study. See, he's right in his mind, and everybody else is wrong. So I'm telling you, this man's dangerous, if not flipping crazy. And, you know, the world needs to know what's going on with him. All right? Like I said before, he allows all kinds of racist comments on his videos uh, that he doesn't, you know, edit. Or, 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 or and ban the people and um, only when the heat's on did he finally go in and, and uh, um, clean some of those up sanitize some of those comments but uh, the comments the responses to those comments are still there so it's not hard to put you know two and two together here to see what's happening so love you guys and uh, just want to let you know I'm doing my best here um, if you guys want to support this work, feel free. Um, if you can't, that's quite all right. I don't do this for money. I do this to support the Lord and, and get the word out. I don't claim to know it all. Um, but you know what? Iron sharpens iron. And if we can sit down and have a dialogue with others, then we'll get to the truth. But, you know, guys that, uh, that won't let you speak, yet they claim that they will let you speak, like this guy, um, you know, they're just liars. They're literally wolves in sheep's clothing. So you guys have to know. And I'm doing my best to let you know. So keep me in your prayers. If you're ever in the Philippines, you got a place, you got a friend to come stay at. I'm not interested in starting a commune. Don't want to even go there. But uh, if you guys want a bug out location, and if you can see the writing on the wall of what's happening in America, my suggestion is you get out of Babylon because it's going to be a problem. She's going to burn. Look at the prophecies of Dimitri Dudeman. Look at the prophecies of David Wilkerson. Look at the prophecies of Henry Gruber. She's going to burn, folks. You need to leave. So with that, love you, and hope to see you here one of these days. You guys take care, and uh, God bless you. Okay? Bye-bye now.